Hi Aries, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we're going to do a reading for you Aries and it could be a love reading, right? It could be, it could be just uh, a general reading, maybe that doesn't have to do with love, but it's usually always about love, maybe because I'm such a, a romantic. <laughs> maybe you guys are romantics, right? Yeah, so let's see uh, what we have for you guys Aries. And uh, mm -hmm. we have the crown chakra here. And Aries, you're trusting your intuition or your pineal gland is uh, functioning, uh, like, really working well here. I feel like it is. I feel like you're trusting your intuition. And you could be, like, maybe to see something from a detached point of view. Possibly we have justice. And this justice card, it does talk about wisdom mm -hmm, and fairness, right? But uh, I feel like this is about you. You might be detaching from somebody or you are trying to see something from a detached point of view uh, while you trust your intuition at the same time, which is kind of very, uh, it just sounds so intelligent kind of and so like insightful as well. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, and then we have this friendliness card. You might have a lover here that is kind of a friend to you, right? We have these two trees and uh, here they are kind of, you know, growing together almost like the branches kind of. Uh, and then we have the Four of Wands here. This is the Four of Staffs. And these two people are kissing here. And they look like they just got married because the man... Uh, they look like they just got married. They're under this kind of natural threshold. I'm not sure what you call that, but the wands are holding up uh, the beautiful flowers or the ivy. Whatever that is, uh, you know, some type of plant life at the top here. Very beautiful, right? And uh, a lot of times they use that for weddings. Um, maybe you are consoling somebody here. You could be. Mm -hmm. I feel like this card is called Articulation. Uh, it could be called, uh, I forget the name of it, but this is about somebody who, like, consoles somebody, and it can be about somebody who, like, is talking about their feelings, right? And we see the man here, and he is trying to console this woman who is sitting down, and it's almost like she has to sit down on this couch. She's outside. Uh, because she is so upset, right? And here he is with his hand on her back, and, you know, he's he's uh, kind of touching her arm, like, do you want to talk about it, or are you okay? Something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, interesting here. Uh, so let's see what else we have. We do have this card of experiencing. I feel like you are experiencing, like, your your intuition is really high. Or you are experiencing some type of uh, relationship, maybe that is very friendly or something. So let's see what we have. Let's get into the reading so we don't keep kind of, you know, uh, trying to call this reading just on these cards here. But there is a storyline here. I feel like there is. Yeah. I feel like you are uh, probably wanting this Four of Stabs with somebody. It's like the Four of Wands. It's a union. Uh, and you are letting somebody else know that you might be leaving. It's possible here. Because, let's see. Let's find out. Let's see what we have for Aries. You don't always have to be leaving, but... <coughs> you might, though. Let's see what we have. Five of Swords reversed. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you could be in a marriage or some type of a marriage-type union. And what we have here is the King of Cups. This is in your... Uh, this could be your goal here, where you want to pour the cup out, like you want to reject somebody, or you want to, like, reject a union, or maybe somebody's offer, or, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. And we have the lovers showing up, the empress, the justice card again, two of pentacles, and we have the six of swords. And I was saying that you probably want to leave, and here you are in the boat, Aries. You could be saying, I don't care if there's a hole here, I want to leave. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know if there's a hole in this boat. Uh, but this man is already making it. He's already uh, making it to the other side. He is. Mm-hmm. It's kind of interesting here. So this talks about, you know, uh, getting to a calmer place. Very interesting here, and uh, this is a different deck, so it looks a little bit different here. Mm -hmm. So, this is what I feel like you are doing. I feel like you're leaving somebody here, most likely, uh, and you could be consoling them at the same time. Like, 
like trying to show compassion to this person possibly. So let's see what we have. And justice is here twice, which for me is very interesting, right? Uh, this can sometimes talk about a divorce because justice, uh, marriage is a contract and we know justice can be about a contract. It can. So let's see what we have, you guys. Yeah, just don't sign on the dotted line uh, for these people who are running things because... They do not have your back at not even a millionth of a percent. Yeah. So let's see what we have, you guys. Although that's what they want you to think. Yeah. So we have the Two of Swords right here, Aries. And this is showing up. Mm-hmm. Wow. I feel like you, you're going to cause some despair here, possibly. Or you're thinking about, like, letting somebody go, and it's going to be like a defeat. And you feel like, well, there's nothing I can do about it. This is why you have this justice card here. You're trying to look at it detached. Like, well, I, I'm going to cause pain and there's nothing I can do about it except maybe to console that person. Yeah. And then you're leaving with your little hat on, your little, it has wings on it. This is supposed to be uh, like Zeus, uh, the messenger of the gods, right? Mm-hmm. Looks like these tennis shoes they used to have when I was a kid. They were called PF Flyers. Yeah, and they had like these... Uh, kind of uh, wings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just kind of on the label, kind of. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have, you guys. And uh, I feel like you could be married to somebody here at Ten of Pentacles. It's possible. You have the King of Wands. This is you. Let's look at the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles for Aries. So this could, these could be two people here. You could be uh, leaving, uh, kind of this, dumping this cup out. Maybe you want this King of Pentacles. Maybe you want a King of Cups. Uh, let's see here. And we have the Judgment card. Yeah, you want a rebirth with somebody. I feel like you do. Or this is just a major decision here to walk away from somebody. And you know they're going to be hurt. And you, this is what you are considering. But you're considering it like kind of uh, in a detached, from a detached place. But it's not a cold place at all, because I feel like here you are, uh, like, consoling that person. It's not from a cold place. It's from a place of, I feel like, rationale and uh, calmness, kind of. Like, well, it's my job to be a little bit kind. I'm going to leave, so I have to be kind. But it doesn't mean I need to stay. Maybe you are uh, very good friends with somebody you're leaving because we have the friendliness card here. Somebody, you're friends with somebody here. I feel like you are, you could be thinking, I, I need to be compassionate toward my person and I need to be responsible because this other card here uh, who is, somebody said that was St. Peter. I thought it was St. Christopher, but, you know, I'm not a Catholic either, so maybe they're right and I'm wrong, right? Yeah. That'd be okay. So we have the Nine of Wands, you guys, coming into play. Let's see what we have. And we have the Ace of Swords reversed. I feel like you are uh, maybe kind of concerned about this decision. Yeah, this decision that you're making. And I feel like you've already been through kind of a major battle. This could be somebody else, though, that you are, you know, who's gone through some type of of uh, difficulty already and this person is worried about more difficult times or thinking about those kind of like uh oh there could be you know more ahead of this difficulty right the four of cups is here too mm -hmm. I feel like what you are doing down here is you are like wondering how this person is going to handle it because I feel like we have the four of cups here I feel like this is a rejection and this ace of swords has to do with your, your decision like to leave this person or this uh, may be a victory that you are kind of wanting with somebody else possibly because remember we have the four of wands here the four of stabs and these people are like for me they look like they've gotten married right mm -hmm. so let's see and we have the lovers let's look at this card here we have the high priestess this is energy that could be leaving you like of the past and the four of wands see this is like a breakup could be with a piscean or a scorpio but the Four of Wands now is reversed. This is a breakup.
The lovers is showing up, and this is coming soon with the Ace of Cups. You're making a choice here to have a brand new beginning in love with somebody, Aries. Wow, I saw this the other day in your reading. For me, it's beautiful because for some of you guys, you were thinking about this from for like, you know, uh, for many moons. I feel like through, you know, possibly through holidays. And I don't mean like, you know, Christmas and then New Year's. I don't mean that. Those are only a week apart. I'm talking about maybe Easter through Christmas. <laughs> We have the Empress, this card, this is showing up with the Chariot. You have a lot of Majors here. Yeah. Let's see what else we have. We have the Queen of Swords. Somebody's, uh, whoever you are, I feel like uh, probably walking away from here with the Six of Swords here. I feel like that person here is... Uh, considering here, right here, like discerning whether or not you're going and you're having victory with somebody else. Mm -hmm. This person probably knows. If this person is Pisces, this King of Cups, or the High Priestess here, uh, they're super intuitive. Maybe that is their crown chakra on high, right? Uh, they are intuitive beings, yeah. And if they are not, it's really tragic because that means that they are uh, ignoring their intuition. Like a lot of people, people do it all day long. They walk around, you see them at the store, and they think everything's fine. Oh, everything's fine. You know, the price is a little bit high, but everything's fine. No, it's not fine. They have far more planned. <laughs> and not one, not any of it, not an inkling of it is good. So let's look at the justice card, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. We have uh, the Eight of Cups. And this is, you know, showing up here how you are affecting somebody else. Here you are walking away, Aries. Eight of Cups, justice. <coughs> that is your decision to walk away from somebody right there. <coughs> Maybe you're walking away from Libra. It could be, but uh, you definitely are walking away from somebody. And your hopes and fears is the Two of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles reverse. You're going back and forth. I don't know if I'm going to have a new start with somebody else. I don't know if this endeavor that I'm, uh, I feel like that you are going on to chase or to be with here. Uh, or to do. I feel like there's, because you have the Ace of Cups here. So you want a new beginning in love with somebody for sure. And so the fact that... <clears throat> You are wondering if it's going to work out for you. Yeah, you are. We have the eight of the six of swords in your outcome. It's showing up here with the magician. Yeah, you're leaving, and that's you, Aries. I feel like it is, and you're. I feel like you are doing pretty well here. You're in the upright, and I feel like you are leaving somebody right here. And I do feel like whatever you are in, it probably uh, wasn't like. Like smooth, like it could have been argumentative or just some some kind of an issue. I feel like, yeah. Let's see. We have we have this experiencing card that I didn't mention, and uh, mm -hmm, that's a number three. Almost like you know, uh, maybe there were three people here for sure. And uh, this woman here, oh, she's looks like she's like becoming part of the tree. Could be. Yeah, it looks like she is becoming part of the tree. And, you know, we have this tree over here in the friendliness card. I feel like you want to grow with somebody here. I feel like you want to try. I do feel like uh, you could be thinking it's a little bit of a chance, possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you could definitely be thinking that. But I feel like everything is going to work out for you. Yeah, let's see what else we have for Aries. This is a good reading. It's In fact, I feel like it's beautiful. The Sun card showing up here. Mm -hmm. This could be wherever you're headed here. You're going to be happy and successful, and I feel like you are. Uh, this could be your clarity here that it's uh, maybe it's time to go right now. Let's get one more card on that. We have the Death card, or the Four of Pentacles. They are both. It's holding on. It's an ending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're leaving somebody here, and this person doesn't want to let you go. That's it. Yeah, and this is the person I feel like that needs to be consoled. They do not want to be left behind. Uh, I feel like you know... It's interesting in this reading, uh, by these cards, I feel like you know that you are headed to a calmer place. Like, you know this. 
Yeah, it's like a lot of people, you know, in their readings, they, they want they want a new beginning with somebody. Uh, maybe it's passion, whatever it is. But, uh, you know, they want that. and But you know that, like, you can see it in your reading that you have been, like, kind of in a troubled place with somebody. I feel like it is because you have the Five of Swords as your first card. And you have this Four of Cups, the Nine of Wands. Yeah. So we're going to end this reading, and uh, it looks really good, Aries. Thank you so much for watching me. Uh, yeah. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.